Hey guys, it's DGB Gaming here. Today I'm going to be bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops 1 gameplay. I'm using the uh, AK-74U and um, uh, yeah, you know, I'm playing Team Deathmatch as usual. Hey, yeah, I mean, we're leading 800 to 0 right now. So yeah, you know, we're doing pretty good. But um, I want to thank you guys for watching my Dragon Ball Fighters video. You know, it was pretty awesome. A lot of you, you know, y'all you, liked it, and I thought that was pretty cool because that game is pretty cool, even though it looks like Marvel vs. Capcom, and it has like the fight, uh, it has the fight surroundings like that, and it has the fighting stages are like that, and the characters, you know. But I just want to thank y'all for watching that video. You know, it was pretty cool. It was pretty tough, you know, to try to get a win on that game. I mean, dude, the opponents on there, dude, they they spam the heck out of the same move it's the same move over and over again that's basically what they do is the same move over and over and I don't like that man I wish they could do something different is instead of just like the same move and like they practice a freaking block counters and everything you know it's like it's hard to destroy your opponent on that game well to me it is maybe to somebody else is not because they have this whole strategy they do or they just spam something or they do a certain move you know it, it's just very annoying I don't I don't like how people I don't know how people can do the same move over and over or how people can't try to do something different you know I mean it, it's like come on dude try to do something different just instead of the same thing over and over again because that's gonna get old and then it's like yeah you know when you face off against your next opponent that's what you're gonna be doing you're gonna be doing the same thing over and over again rotation rotation but, um, uh, guys I want to thank you for watching that video uh, I mean it was pretty awesome I, I thought it was pretty awesome too man uh, first time using Goku Vegeta and Goku Black uh, Goku Black man Goku Black I mean he's awesome um, he's an awesome character to use because of his uh, ability to make his arm like have a purple energized blade at the end of it not his arm turning into a blade but it's like it has his hand turning into a, a, a purple energized blade at the end of it which is pretty cool you know uh, he could do his divine wrath which is no he could use his uh, divine lasso I mean divine wrath is Dragon Ball's universe too <laughs> But yeah, Divine Lasso, he used his Divine Lasso and put a uh, key spikes in you and they explode. Dude, I, I thought that was the coolest thing. On Dragon Ball Universe 2, I got that move from my uh, Namekian and man, it, it freaking, it's awesome, man. I couldn't believe how much damage it did. Um, but it, that move is pretty cool. It could take like uh, one health bar plus half of the next health bar. That's how overpowered that move is. Uh, but yeah, man, that, I thought that was a pretty cool, um, pretty cool game uh, that I faced off against that guy um, in my first Xenoverse. I mean, in my first Dragon Ball Fighters match ever. Because man, when I had downloaded the beta, I mean, the beta was all right, but thing is, a lot of communication errors every time after our train it said you had lost connection to this so and so we'll take you back to the main menu or whatever and I got mad so I just say you know what I'm gonna undownload the uh, beta and I'm gonna wait till the uh, finished product till the game comes out and I did I waited a month after because I didn't have the money for Dragon Ball Fighters uh, uh, beforehand so I had to wait which I did and then I bought it I bought it, I went to GameStop, I bought it for 60 bucks because it was brand new. But the thing is, okay, the thing is with me is if you buy a game that's new, brand new game, sealed in plastic, uh, the plastic wrapping, packaging, and, what I, and whatever, um, isn't the game supposed to come with the manual? But when I bought Dragon Ball Fighters, brand new, sealed, never been opened, Brand new game, brand new disc. It came. It did not come with an instruction booklet, which you know it, it, that gave me some red flags right there. Whether or not if the game really was brand new or it was pre-owned and they're trying to sell it brand new. You see, I don't know if GameStop is trying to do that, 
trying to sell their pre-owned games brand new for money. Uh, I don't know. They probably have did it before, and I don't even know. I buy from GameStop all the time. Sometimes they do promotional sales. Sometimes they do two, two, buy two get one free. Sometimes they do buy four games for under 4.99 for 10 bucks. Um, but it's like, yeah, I don't know if like they. If they like did that on purpose or if the game came like that, I, I just don't know. I just need help with that, you know, because it's kind of, uh, I mean, it's kind of odd seeing a game that's brand new, sealed in packaging, has never been opened before, um, not come with a pamphlet or with a book instruction booklet. Because almost every game I got that was brand new came with an instruction booklet, even the pre owned games. Even some of the pre-owned games came with an instruction booklet. Like for example, okay, uh, this is a brand new game. When uh, they were when they announced the release of um, what's it called it for Battlefield One, the people who bought Battlefield One, uh, like the early early edition, like the uh, they had they had got to play the game earlier than the ones who bought it on Friday. But, yeah, I got the one that was on Tuesday, so I had pre-ordered it, I bought it, and then when I went to the store, it brand new packaging, never been opened, you know, when I got home, I opened it, and the, there's an instruction booklet and everything. But, okay, but when I get Dragon Ball Fighters, brand new, never been opened in packaging. I open it, no, no instruction booklet. So, so what's wrong there, guys? You tell me. What the heck's wrong there? I mean, every game should come with a, an instruction booklet unless they're pre-owned and unless they don't have it. Then, okay, I, I understand. But I don't understand Dragon Ball Fighters not having an instruction booklet. Thank you guys and talk to y'all later. Peace.